Civil Engineering Academy. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from construction. The following project successors for a project are shown below. What is the duration of the project? So we're given the amount of days here and we're given activity, the duration of the activity and each successor. So the first thing we're going to do is just draw this out. So just looking at this, we've got an activity A and its successor is B. So we know B is sitting somewhere after A. With, with B, you have successors C and D. So you've got a C and a D. And for activity C, successors are D and we'll write an F over here. And for D, successor is E. We'll write E right here. And for E, you've got F. Okay, that's it. So, all right, let's draw this in. A goes to B. B has C and D. Okay. And where does C go? C goes to D and F. Okay, boom. C goes to D, making sure I'm doing this right. D goes to E. And E ends up going to F. I should have drawn F somewhere over here, but anyway, you get the idea. So now let's write in the durations here. Activity A is 13, B is, or 6, B is 13, C is 7. D is 9, E is 14, and F is 3, where they all end up. Okay, so what we need to do is look at all the different paths and find out what one is the longest, because that will give us the total duration of the project. And I can tell right off the bat, it's going to be, just looking at the longest path here, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, which is going to be 6 plus 13 plus 7 plus 9 plus 14 plus 3. And what does that give me? A, B, C, D, E, F. That gives me 52. So the answer to this is A. And just to double check that, we can look at a different path. We can look at A, B, C, F or A, B, D, E, F. Maybe let's look at that. A, B, oops, that's not a very good B. A, B, D, E, F, which would be 6 plus 13 plus 9 plus 14 plus 3. And what does that equal? A, B, D, E, F, that's 45. So that's not the longest either. Everything else is lower than that. 72 is just meant to throw you off, obviously. But all this, if you're using the Civil Engineering Reference Manual, can be located in Chapter, I believe, 85 in the edition I'm using. Uh, that might have changed with the edition you're using, but it goes over project schedule. So, hope this helped you out. Head to Civil Engineering Academy for more tips related to the PE exam. Thanks, bye.